All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be probably one of the weirdest parts of the evening here, and probably one of the weirdest parts ever. This is the story of Gypsy Savage, poet, bard, minstrel. They call me Gypsy, 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 Gypsy. They call me Gypsy, yeah, that's what I am. I walk the road of faith to the promised land. I once was a wizard, a bold, brazen mage. I thought I had it going on, but I built my soul a cage. Felt the power, never coward, got the wires crossed. I paid the price for my vice, and all would be lost. Oh, Heartbeats and trees, directing the winds. Egg of creation, mother nature a friend. Then I went my own way, and I forged my own path. I used magic for great good, not revenge or for cash. But my honor and justice were paving roads down to hell. I was running high on my ego and addicted to spells. Had the strength and the knowledge, not the wisdom and might. Ignore the virtues of the highest, God, the true source of light. So a silent lotus form on the mound of deep thought, thinking real hard on the trouble I wrought. God had given me the gifts to perceive what others don't see, as well as the power to channel energies. Yeah, I sought out the light, finding only the rays, but the rays don't exist without the source and the way. In addition to my mission of pleasing myself, I longed to save the world but plunge myself in hell. I used my wild magics to be seeking world peace, asking much of the cosmos but nothing of me. No service, no sacrifice in my real world life. My magic turned tragic, my crutch become a knife. The yearnings and burnings of my essence intense. My creator wished to save my soul, my spirit he would cleanse. Twenty years of darkness in my still youthful life. Sin and vice in my past and in my present much strife. But on a cold winter's day came the spirit of truth. The messenger spoke to me and showed me the proof. My mind opened wide with the inner eye. Floodgates crashing down, then I wept and I cried. The spirit then showed me all the people I'd wronged, led by pride, fear, lust, and rage, like Kublai Khan. I saw winged angels in the park, beams of light from above. I finally saw the truth and grace, wished to seek my father's love. A great destiny realized could one day be mine, but I had much to atone for, it was the word of the divine. But later that same night, when my quest had led me home, Three of God's good shepherds, the city streets roamed. The lady served the father, spoke the gospel of John, proclaiming much joy that the Savior has come. All of that day had led down to that moment, epiphany then aid, and end to my torment. The harbingers three gave the book of the word, conversations followed, now the call I knew I heard. The divine grants his gifts in mysterious fashion to these three ladies, wisdom, joy, and compassion. Now was it just chance that the heralds would come, or was a god crafting fate that had beckoned me home? A change in me was planted with the seeds of the fruit. My life clearly wasn't working, I had nothing to lose. So I started reading the good book and I gave it some thought, but I still had much doubt, my soul was in knots. An oracle offered no help, so I sought out the way. The wisdom of the Tao, thou suit the sage. I went to as well to learn what I can. Tao falls around, I followed nature's plan. These pages suck. <laughs> darkness in the light, light in the darkness. The balance of order and chaos, I decided that I'd harness. I needed to find balance and healing for my soul, but I hadn't yet paid penance for losing self-control. My life became strange and cruel in the winter of weird. I battled creatures nightly, tear stricken in fear. So I summoned all my courage and my personal power. But would it be enough in the penultimate hour? So I prayed and I prayed to the Father of all things for divinely granted aid in all my battling. Then all of a sudden, beside me flashed a light, blue and golden beams and aura for a figure dressed in white. A soft, gentle hand is placed upon my arm. Then my soul knew peace, I felt very safe from harm. For the very first time I felt God's peaceful energies, channeled down through my head, Creator's love will set me free. My essence lit up, surging full of light, mind, heart, soul, body, vitally alive. Currents of divine lightning, hope and faith arrived. I couldn't stop praying, even if I tried. I was learning lessons sublime, and I knew it was time. Yeah, it was time for a change. It was praying time. On the very next day, I placed a call to a friend, one of the heralds three who Savior Jesus had sent. For the first time in my life, I attended Holy Church. Yeah, I believed in God, but me, a wizard of the earth? That being said, God had given me some gifts, arranged opportunities, and ended hardships. If I wanted to help the world, I'd also help myself. I must seek the Bible's holy truth and for the soul find wealth. 
With Jesus I gain hope, bliss, joy, and harmony. With God I pledge my faith and find my destiny. I've learned we're all on the front lines in the secret war. Between good and evil, now I knew the score. But that is no good reason for giving up on my dreams, because God's got a plan our hopes he has foreseen. He's felt all our wishes in his cosmic heart. And if I listen to my conscience, then I can get a start. Our souls are a compass to that golden land. And if I reach the kingdom, then I'll understand. That though we disappoint our Father, he has love for all of us. If I don't lose my faith, it will be glorious. Then I reach Damascus to hear the will of the one. It's the end of this chapter, but the journey has just begun. Done. I apologize for the pages. I've been having trouble turning these pages here for whatever reason. But anyway, hopefully you appreciated it. Uh, if you don't believe all of it, that's fine too. But darn if it doesn't make a good story, I'm sure. There you go, Kyle. <laughs>